All right, I got a brand new hour of stand-up comedy. Tickets on sale right now. San Francisco, September 8th to the 10th. All the tickets almost gone. Tarrytown sold out. We got Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota. London is sold out. Dublin is sold out. Belfast, still some tickets. We may add shows to the UK in October. ChrisDComedy.com for all the ticky wickies. Thanks for the support. Blocker, blocker. All right. <laughs> All my tickets are on sale right now. I'm supposed to be filming my special in the spring of 23. So if you want to see the special before it's filmed, come on out. Canada for the first time in October. Uh, Hamilton and Toronto. Toronto, second show added. Then we're going to Richmond, Virginia and Hershey, PA. Hershey, PA, second show added. Knoxville, uh, Atlanta and uh, Birmingham. Atlanta, second show added. That's with Adam Ray. Uh, Louisville and Evansville in November. And then we got Florida and California in December. California is... You guys have been asking me to come and it's Sacramento, San Jose, and Santa Rosa. So come on out. Jacksonville, all on sale right now at SavileCanoComedy.com. Don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say hey, babe. All right. The, the H, H, the E, the Y, the B, the A, the B, the E. It's hey, babe. It's hey, babe. Hey, babe. What's up, baby? This couch is terrible. I hate the couch. I, uh, you see? I'm, I'm going on record. I am thankful that the couch was here. But I don't, after being in the couch, with the couch, one with the couch, I'd like to get rid of the couch. <laughs> I agree. And it's no disrespect to the owner of the couch. I just, I just hate this. I this hate this is, couch. This is the couch that everyone talks about. You ever watch a Architectural Digest Open Door? This is it, it. It's a very popular couch. It's the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. Yeah. It's no, it's not, it's, it's no small Architectural pennies. Architectural Digest, open the door. No. Architectural Digest, open the door. I don't know it. Well, you just said architect, architect, architectural, architectural digest. Open the door. You said is the name of the oh, open door. Oh, open architectural digest. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Architectural. I thought, I thought the architectural digest. Open the door. But what are you singing? You know, my love. Open the door. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's what you pulled out of your ass? Wait, you were singing Let My Love by Pete Townsend? Yeah. Let my love open the door to your heart. To your heart. (laughs) Because it's the end of the movie and it's the end of Look Who's Talking. Is it really? Yes. Oh, it's also- So I was trying to do a thing- It's also the end of Jersey Girl, I think. Because you said Architectural Digest Open the Door, so I was trying to do Architectural- Oh, Open Door. Okay, so you- Architectural Digest Open the Door. But it's let my love open the door. Okay. No, but 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 I don't even, I can't even know that song. I can't. I I would have never made. If you would have bet me a billion dollars, I would have lost a billion dollars. If you would have lost a billion dollars, if Elon Musk loses a billion dollars, he still has about another twenty billion dollars. Way more than that, no? You think? Isn't he worth hundreds of billions? How much money is too much money, Sal? How much money is too much money? I think in today's day and age, if you want to live a moderate lifestyle, not worry about anything, not moderate, if you want to have yeah, two hundred, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> what, if I was Elon Musk, tell the audience he's worth a quarter of a trillion dollars, two hundred and fifty-seven point three billion U.S. dollars. Why can't he just give one member of his family the point three? He just, <laughs> just the give point, one, by the way, the, isn't the point three in that scenario three hundred million dollars? Yes, so why don't you just give somebody the point three? The, the point three can <laughs> save a nation. The literally point three would get Ukraine out of this mess. That's why people. <laughs> that's why people hate on him. Yeah, because he has too much money. But what are you going to do if he lost? He could take a billion dollars and wipe his ass with it and throw it at you and then put gasoline on it, light it with a match. It all goes up in flames and he can moonwalk out of there and he doesn't, it doesn't even affect him. If you put, I think that it was Steve Jobs. I heard this with Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you put all Steve Jobs' money, now Elon Musk has, I, but I think, twice as much money. Okay. If you put all his money in dollar bills, U.S. single you dollar. You told me this. From Earth to the moon and back like 700 times or something. That doesn't make sense. It, quant- it will wrap around sense. the Earth like, like 10,000 times. Know, you told me this once and I was yeah. blown away. Yeah. So, so, so wait, what the hell are we just. Look oh, at what? What, a, what a piece of shit Steve Jobs is. $250 million. No, 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 no. By age 25. Oh, well, that's okay. He's worth. And that's equivalent to $745 million now when he was 25. He's got to be worth more than that. 
You think Elon Musk looks at it? You think if Steve Jobs is still alive because Elon because Steve Jobs is so poor, Elon Musk would put his mask on when he's around Steve Jobs? I think it, <laughs> just say, I don't want to get your poor on me. I think he would think it was That's pe- how crazy that peasantry. is. Peasantry, yeah. So Elon Musk has more money than most gross domestic products of nations. He has more money than most nations' GDPs, I'd imagine. I, and that's, a, many that's con- your answer right there. That's, many that's countries so don't have 257-point tree. I think most. Yeah, they don't. Right? I think the United States has to. We got trillions on trillions. We got stacks. We, got, we got bands. Oh, go up, uh, Pimpy. You just had I like it. Oh, you yeah, dropped a go. gross domestic product on me. What do you, I mean. You hit me with a GDP. I want to, listen, I want to, I want to say that the reason why I'm, um, I'm a, uh, uh, f- hitting you with a gross domestic, uh, product, the GDP, why I'm feeling in a good mood is because yesterday for the first time ever in my life, I took a bite of mushrooms. I did mushrooms actually on this couch. Actually. This horrible couch just to come back full circle. Actually. <laughs> get up one second. Yeah. I think that a piece of the mushroom fell out of my mouth and might be. Well, you're like Lucky Charms right now. That's a piece of the mushroom that I ate yesterday. I swear to God. Oh, you dropped it. Oh, now my kid's going to find you it. You got to be careful. You don't want to drop this on the floor. Yeah, did you ever see that happen? I think, uh, what's his name? Sienna. What's her name? Sienna. She's back to Jude Law. Uh, think, Sienna College? Uh, no. Sienna I, Miller. That's her name, right? I could swear that one time the kid ate ecstasy off the floor in the house. That's not good. Can you Google that? I think it was a thing. I think that like they freaked out because like uh, the kid freaked found, out. Now you should, yeah, judge, judge. Scandal. Let's see. Now, I, it doesn't come right up. I, it was a news story. I remember it. All right, you ready to play a little fairy f- kill real quick? All right. Here I we go. You ready? Have, yeah. Mary kill. Jude Law. Hey, Jude. Law and order. Um. Okay. I. Hey Jude has played out. So you can't. But, but it is but it is iconic. Okay. Well, I gotta have sex with Jude Law. Jude Law. Snip that. Use that as a clip. That's it, clip uh, it. Yeah, with no context. And then I gotta I think I gotta <laughs> <laughs> I just in the clip with that. <laughs> I gotta have sex with Jude Law. <laughs> it's just me and I just say it so so earnestly. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, I have sex with Jude Law. And I got I think I kill Law and Order. I, enough with it. Enough with you it. Know? Yeah. And then and, and then you'll I've uh, never even seen an episode. And then you'll marry Hey Jude. And I'll marry Hey Jude. Fair. Because that's fun. Um, Here we go. London, England, which I'll be at uh, in uh, October. The f- show October 6th at the Bloomsbury Theater is sold out. So we will be adding shows hopefully Friday, Saturday. So check the website, christycomedy.com right, for tickets. Look at that. The two-year-old daughter of film stars Jude Law and Sadie Frost. Sadie Frost. Oh, so it wasn't Sienna. I'm sorry. Was rushed to a London hospital after she swallowed part of an ecstasy tablet at a children's party. They were Did calling she- the hospital staff after a toddler spent the night under observation. Uh, she, the kids in the the kids in the like the kids in the uh, like the the the, uh, the intensive care unit with glow sticks. <laughs> with glow sticks, they're bringing her bottle with the sparklers on it. They're like, it just helps with the. It, it she's helps. got the pass. She's like, she already got the pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Iris Law had to endure a stomach pump and brain scan. Oh wow, my that's god, that's the scariest thing I've ever heard. By the way, like. Where is there just ecstasy? Why is there ecstasy on the floor at a children's party? I was going to say, a Scot- yeah, the police had to get involved. A Scot- Scotland Yard spokesperson said we were called at 4.11 p.m., which is 15.31 GMT. I don't have any idea how to do time no, in the UK. No. 4.11 p.m. is 15.31 GMT. What are we talking You're about? You're making it more difficult for yourselves. Yeah. We go from 1 to 12. That's It's so hard. What is GM fifteen thirty one? Meet me there at one thousand five hundred and thirty one GMT. Yeah. I'm, how about meet me there at four? Four would be great. Well, how about I, I posted the flyers and and you know in in the UK you know June tenth is six ten. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, uh, June tenth is ten six. So I'm saying I'm in London October six ten six twenty two and they're like that, that it happened already. June tenth. I was already like, there. You, can you just know that Americans are we are the way we are and just understand that it's October? Yeah. I got flooded with messages like June tenth already happened. Yeah, and you know they know they're looking at they me like, know what happened. Yeah, you know they what know, I'm doing, but they want to tell you that it passed. Yeah, they want to tell you that's impossible. 
you were there in June, that means. Yeah. And instead of just being like, or they'll say, uh, don't you mean October 6th? Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. That's what I mean. You know what I'm going to tell you? I My shows are at 8 p.m. London fucking time. Wow. That's what time they Figure are. It Figure out. it out. Okay? Figure it out. Figure it out. Whatever time DMT that is, then that, yeah. The I'm, show I'm, is I'm at, at 2,671 GMF. Yeah, I'm at G, my DMT. This looks like a fun party venue for yeah. a kid. The child had been attending a children's birthday on Saturday where she was believed to have picked up a tablet that had been left on the floor of the premises in Old Compton, on Old Compton Street. The premises had been used as a bar and nightclub on Friday. I, so, I, excuse I would love me, to see- I, thought they, I thought she found it in their home. That's... That's insane. I wonder what the differences are between Compton, California and Old Compton, England. <laughs> <laughs> they, they both drink Old English probably. Yeah, yeah they probably both. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's a nice you. bit. Thank you. Um, yeah. I'll tell you something right now. You imagine like the... Mu- your kid takes ecstasy by accident. You yes. look at it and, and you're it like, happens. this is, you're, you're, you're losing your shit. You might die of a coronary yourself. Of course. And the kid's like, relax, dad. It's the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this let's happen? go to the hospital. The hospital's cool. The hospital, yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Not enough people go to the hospital. Starts I pulling love her, the she, hospital. She starts pulling her diaper off. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I just want to be free. <laughs> Wait a minute, did this happen in Soho House? A spokesman for <laughs> London Soho House Club. Oh! This happened at the Soho House. <laughs> That's where you're staying. That's where I'm staying. Oh my god! Oh wait, should we have said that? Well, there's like ten of them. Okay, okay. Come okay. find me. It's like <laughs> where in the world is Chris Stefano? Uh, wow! It was a private wow. matter, and because it was regarding members, I'm not allowed to say anymore. Yeah. Also, because the police are fucking yeah, probably yeah, investigating yeah. Yeah, doing to the, shut down the Soho <laughs> House behind the membership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't speak about the child being drugged <laughs> because we're behind the paywall. Would you have Delilah's birthday in a Soho house? Fucking rave it have, out. Would I have Delilah's birthday at a Soho house? Why not? No, here's what I'll say. It's fun, weird. Actually, maybe because at least the Soho house in New York, the children can use the pool before noon. It'd be nice. It'd be, here's what I tell you I'm not doing as just having two kids and going through this. I am not ever again having a children's birthday party at my house. Done. I would rent up your mind. I'm renting out your establishment. Yeah. Whether it be the pool, whether it be the arcade, I'm renting your place out for two hours. I'm giving you whatever you tell me the cost is. I'm paying it willingly to you. Okay. So I don't have to do anything but bring my children there and then bring them home. Do you mean to you, the the, the royal you, or you mean me when when I? What (laughs) what do you mean? You I want to bring them to your house. <laughs> you are. And I'll, you tell you me what the cost is. Ha- you mean the, the house house. You throw the party. All right, all right. You throw the party. Yeah, if, you th- if you think that I wouldn't throw your daughter a birthday party at my house just on the arm, you're crazy. <laughs> I, I, you can. Ha- I'll, I will throw her a party. I will throw them a party at you're my known, house. You're known for remembering things like, like a, a freakishly long. I'm telling you right now, pimp, save this clip. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Sal Volcano. You are throwing my daughter's sweet 16 at your home. I, it's, in, it's, it's in nine years. I'll tell you what I have to say to that. I need to have sex with Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, 100%. Sweet 16. It, it's in May, so it'll be nice weather. It's Outs- in nine years? It's in nine years, her sweet 16. Yeah, I mean, you, you got it. I mean, you got it. It's confirmed. But, yeah, but just the, the, just the guest list, um, just make sure there's no crazies. We'll keep it under 50. No okay. guess. We'll keep it under 50. Just, just family and people that will stay cool. Yeah. Yeah. Be cool. I love the first person that shows up to your house. It's like Takashi69. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Yes. Best, best childhood birthday. Oh, wow. Best childhood birthday. Um, I remember a surprise party I had once. I thought that was pretty neat. You know? Might have been my first surprise party. You never had a surprise party, right? No, actually. You know what's crazy? I don't remember. Oh, you did have a surprise party. I was there. I was going to say. Yeah. I, don't, I, I remember almost none of my birthday. Certainly not one from childhood. Besides the time all my friends got their tongues pierced and nobody could eat the chicken fingers my mom bought from Corrado's Pizzeria Ooh, in Ridgewood. Big mistake. 16. That was my, that was my sweet 16. Um, <laughs> Everyone, you had a mass tongue piercing? Yeah, and I was there, but the guy tried to pull my tongue out and he said it's too short, he couldn't do it. You're tongue-tied. Tongue tied. Uh, I am too. Uh, the most I could do. We, we probably have the shortest tongues of any podcast in the world. Yeah, the short tongues cast. We got, we're, the short, we're the short tongue <laughs> podcast. But I will say, honestly. Shout out Jessamay Peluso. 
Isn't she the short tongue? tongue? Oh, sharp tongue. Sharp tongue. Shout out Jesse May. Yes. Um, so, so, so we have um, the, you, the, the birthday party that I was thrown last year, surprise party for my 37th birthday. I would say, because now it's a year has passed, is the only birthday I really remember other than my 16th birthday. And I remember one other one when I was 31 years old because Jasmine had put up 31, 31 surprise gifts around the house. And I remember not being able to find about 19 of them. 31 yeah, 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 yeah. That's such like, a good idea. That's little so funny. Little gifts and like tie. And I remember That's getting funny. about 12 or 13 in and be like, I don't, do you want it? Because my De- Delilah. Let's make believe I'm 12. Yeah, yeah my, De- my daughter was with my mom. Like, I was like, do you want to just stop? Do you want to just have sex? <laughs> like, let's just, can we just stop this? And let's, we did 12. Let the other 18 will be 18 sexes. That's, yeah. Uh, so, but that one, but I do remember the party, surprise party that you were there. Yeah. Joe DeRosa. That was a homeless year kid. ago. That was yeah. my birthday last year. Yeah. My That's 37th. Blue. That's I remember, flu. I remember it because I was like, I remember checking in. We was at this, I think it was the rooftop of the, was it the stand? Not the no, standard. it was the, um, um, what is that hotel? Uh, the Conrad, maybe? Conrad, maybe the Conrad. It was a roof, it was a downtown yeah. Manhattan rooftop. And I remember, you know, knowing that it was my birthday, but not really, I, honestly, I, I truly was shocked. And I get up there and we're checking. I wasn't there for the surprise. You weren't there for the surprise. Yeah, you I were, got there like a couple minutes late. And, and I remember though, like the, the, there was a problem at the desk, at the front desk, because Jasmine had put her credit card down, but for some reason it wasn't going through. And I had to put my credit card I remember this. down. And I remember like, I remember being like, oh, whatever, not thinking about anything. Cause she said, oh, I just pre-bought a table cause it gets so packed oh, up there. Right, right. She and then out of the corner of my eye, I see Joe DeRosa sitting there drinking a drink. And I'm like, how weird is this? DeRosa's here too. <laughs> I swear to God, stop not thinking at all. It's for me. I live it. I swear to God. I'm like, what a weird. I was like, I can't wait to be like, what up, dick? You know. Like, and then meanwhile, it was, I walked in and everybody was. There. I had no fucking idea. I'll never, yeah. I'll never forget. I had to help sneak TT in. She didn't have a Vax card. That was I, like back. That during, was back then. Yeah. She didn't have a Vax card. That's right. TT was there too. How do you sneak in someone like TT? How do fun. you solve a problem like Maria? Do you know what that's from? West Side Story. No. Still never seen it. Yeah. Never it's seen it. worth a, a, a look. You know, we're going to watch West Side Story. Patreon. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, one time I was uh, uh, on a date or something like that. I uh, was dating a girl. And we and uh, th- that she liked West Side Story. And she's like, let's watch it. And I was like, oh, I'll watch it. And I was like, why don't we make it fun? Uh-huh. And I had never seen it before. I said, why don't we do a shot every time <laughs> someone says Maria? Oh, my God. Uh, oh my yeah, God. it was not. We got you like, were hammered. Yeah, we couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But right. I, I did as many shots as I could do. You could, how about this? I went to the, there's a new movie theater on Staten Island called the Alamo Draft Love House. It. Wu, Wu, Wu Tang Clan yeah. inspired. Have you been? Have you went through? I, I haven't been there yet. I've heard all about it. I've seen the photos. So I, me and Delilah went to see. How's, a- how's the mo- movie viewing experience? It's supposed to be good at those places. Movie viewing experience was awesome. We saw Annie, but the 1980s version. Yeah. So we saw Annie. Cause oh, because they, they play old school movies. They have a, uh, They had for yes. the summer, they had like a kid's camp where like yeah. for five bucks, you can go with your kid. They played Annie. They played Goosebumps. They played all like kids movies. Yeah. So me and Delilah went. We're sitting there. Having a great time. Delilah, you know, you can write down. Like, the way it works is a waitress comes over, and you have a little notepad and a pencil. You look at the menu, and you write down what you want. So I said, Delilah, you write, you write it down. You write down what you want. And, you know, and she shows me, you know, she's asking me, Dad, how do you spell milkshake? You know, because I'm letting her do it. I'm like, Daddy wants whatever, a, a burger. Right. So she be you. So then she's like, Daddy, you know, writes down milkshake. So how do you write down milkshake? So I tell her, Oreo milkshake. You spell it out, whatever. All of a sudden, you know, give, gives it to the waitress. Waitress comes back. She goes, okay. Comes back. <laughs> no, she just assumed as a parent, I approved. Delilah had put Oreo milkshake dash five. <laughs> the waitress comes back with five Oreo milkshakes. <laughs> the city, the, you're just sitting there looking at with five milkshakes. What'd you do? You just paid for them? I just paid for them all. Like, there were two kids in front of us. We gave them two kids. <laughs> and they, had, they had two wait staff members come out holding a <laughs> tray of milkshakes. And Delilah goes, Daddy, Daddy, that's us. Like $16 of milkshakes. Yeah, no, it cost me like $95. Yeah. For that, <laughs> like, like, Annie for five bucks sold. Sold. 
You know, and I was like, holy shit. But, yeah. And she literally, I swear to God. Dash took, five. Dash five. It's so funny. Dash, dash five. five. She took a sip. <laughs> she took maybe three sips of a milkshake and fell asleep in the movie. <laughs> You're watching Amy alone with five milkshakes. With five milkshakes. <laughs> And I was like, I said to the waitress after, I was like, did you, like, I can't believe you brought all five. She goes, I assumed you approved. That's why I was like, when I looked, I said, okay. And I didn't know. Oh, shit. Uh, it's fucking funny. Dish five on, oh, hitting five on anything is hysterical. Dude, let me just tell you, let me tell you uh, one thing quick, and then we'll, we'll do that. Um, you say things enough on a podcast, you're like, oh, maybe I'll get sick of saying it. Three words I'm not sick of, America's number, number one, one meal, meal kit, kit, which is four words. That's oh. right. Four words I'm not sick of saying. America's number, number one, one meal kit. It's five Unless words. Put, no. It's five words. What it is? But you're still not sick of them. I'm not sick of it at all. Yeah. And it's HelloFresh. It's HelloFresh. Hola Fresca. Uh, hola Fresca. Uh, with HelloFresh, let's just tell them what they get. In case in case you've been living under a rock yeah. and you haven't tuned in before this episode. Let them know, pimping. With <laughs> With HelloFresh, you get <laughs> with HelloFresh you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it is America's number one meal kit. We've been using it since day one. You got twenty minute meals, thirty minute meals. You could customize what you get. Uh, they're always updating their recipes and ingredients. They are the best HelloFresh. I use it. My family uses it. The 20-minute meal preps, it's even taught me how to cook. It's given me confidence. It's gotten my health in check. The whole family loves it. They got vegan meals, veggie meals, meat meals, whatever. And it ain't just dinner. No, they got breakfast. They got wholesome snacks. They got desserts. They got lunch. <laughs> they got everything. Yes. HelloFresh is the move for you. It's something that I've been living by, literally. I, I want to just actually, from, from a personal perspective, uh, standpoint Please. say thank you to HelloFresh for even existing that's right I appreciate you guys we're huge fans huge, huge. Fans. and the discount is incredible phenomenal phenomenal almost like we question week after week how this company makes money because they give so much stuff away we free. don't understand the business model hellofresh.com slash hey babe 16 use the code hey babe 16 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts so just for putting in our promo code you get 16 <laughs> free meals like you literally get weeks worth of food for free i could be like 16 meals i'm sold and then you're like and three free gifts why not <laughs> why not seven boxes of it hellofresh.com slash hey babe 16 use code hey babe 16 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts hellofresh america's, america's number, number one, one meal, meal kit. kit three words for you hola hola señor me llamo salvatore mi, mi nombre es cristobal di stefano uh, que paso eh, mucho bien Muy bien, ¿y tú? Yes, sí, 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 sí. Ah, yeah. Así, así. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Sí. sí. Yes. Uh, uh, yo, hombre, uh, <laughs> en la biblioteca, you know. Is it? Fromage? <laughs> Fromage? Uh, no. Uh, Estumacaca. <laughs> uh, um, um, je, je suis fromage? Oh, parlez-vous français? Voulez-vous courser à la soie, François? Oui, oui. Si. Oui, oui. Oui. Um, Danke, Shane. Hello. Oh, my God. Yeah. You You're know welcome. We, what do you think we've been doing, folks? Probably I'm on my Babbel app. It's exactly. a language learning app that I have that I use to learn languages in a new fun way because it's not done by AI. It's done by language experts and they have over 14 languages and they have bite-sized lessons and I do it on my commutes. I do it on the toilet. It's because addictively fun, We all fun, do stuff Babel. on the toilet. Addictively fun. Okay. Yes. I want to tell you, I'm going to tell, I'm going to look to the camera right now and say I have a problem. I'm addicted to Babel. Wow. I love Babel. I'm addicted. I can't get off. I don't want to get off. Wow. Best time of my life so far. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and, and it, it's not just language learning lessons, right? They do podcasts, games, videos, Everything. stories, live classes. They got a 20 day money back guarantee. Start the language learning journey right now with Babel. Save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash 
Hey babe. That's babble.com slash hey babe for up to 60% off your subscription. Babble language, language for life. life. We, we, this is an ADHD app because I think we we dropped off like five topics. No, we did, but I, there's something I have to tell you that that you didn't know about that we were discussing before the show. That I I I if I would be willing to give point three uh, if Elon Musk gave me the point three, yeah, I'd transfer it to an account if it meant you could go back in time and be at a moment that you missed at Joe DeRose's birthday party. <laughs> Out at Joe DeRosa's birthday party. Joe DeRosa's uh, birthday. Thing. Oh, the yeah. pig roast. Uh, the pig roast. I couldn't make that. Couldn't yeah. make that. So we were there outside Joe DeRosa's recently. Recently, outside Joe DeRosa's sandwich yeah, aren't shop. Your birthday's like ten days apart. Yeah, his is August six or something. Oh, Mine's okay, the twenty six. So outside Joe DeRosa's sandwich shop, which by the way, go to Yelp right now and give Joey Rose's five stars. Go give it five stars right now. Yes, yes. We, never, yeah. so we don't say that enough. Go give that thing five stars. Best sandwiches in New York City. Give it five stars. So here, don't don't show him yet. Uh, so so so. But but after I after I say it, then show him. Okay. So you never seen this clip. You don't know what. No idea. Okay. Let me, let me set the stage for you right now. Let me set the stage for you right now. <laughs> I can already we, tell. We do the pig roast. Yeah. We're having a great time. It's roasted on the sidewalk? It's roasted on the sidewalk. Pe so <laughs> It's roasted on a New York City sidewalk. Yeah, people... Are, so what about all the people passing by? They were like, what Just, the fuck? What about the germs from the street? That's what... Joey's handing out pieces of the pig. He's like, try the pig. I'm like, I'm not eating a pig off the New York City street. Right. Okay? Just a couple photos. Yeah, this is hit. It's crazy. Oh, someone put a cigarette in his pig's mouth? Yeah, pimped it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so... It is, okay? You ready for this? We're all standing outside. The bar, it, the AC broke in Joey Rose's. It broke? It broke. And well, it what, was about, what about every homeless person walking by? Did, okay. he, give them, did he give them pig? Uh, Probably. Okay. He, li, li, your, every question you have is valid because okay. we, we were all like dumbfounded why this was happening. Okay. So, so, so we are standing there outside. The, the whole bar pretty much is filing outside. We're having a good time. It's just, it's just become an outdoor party. Yeah. People crowd around. Now there's garbage. There's a big pile of garbage. There's a pig roast. And there's a barricade. Okay? Okay? Joey Rose's. It is me, Joe DeRosa, Ari Shafir, Big J Okerson, Josh Adam Myers, Ian Fidance, Homeless Pimp, Venetia, standing against the wall looking this way. We're just standing against the wall looking this way as if God himself said, you're going to need to see... What I'm about to show you. Okay. We're standing there. All of a sudden, we hear a scream. And we hear a voice say, oh, f I just fell into the garbage. One of the waitresses at, that works for Joey Rose's was going to lean back and smoke a cigarette on a barricade. Shout out, Joe. Yes, yes, leave that. <laughs> Flipped over the barricade into a pile of wet garbage that <laughs> just rained in front of seven New York City no, comedians. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joe DeRosa goes, oh my God, are you okay? And Ari Shafir goes, of course she's not okay. She just fell into a pile of garbage in front of seven oh New York City God. comedians. Literally, show the oh clip. Oh show this. We were, we couldn't believe what just happened. Okay. What? You cut a quarter on tape? Though? Watch. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Watch, watch. It's coming up. <laughs> Dude, I barked at her earlier. She goes, I like your glasses. You look like the guy that married his daughter. <laughs> yeah, Here, here's a piece of pork. Oh, okay, wow, thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally fell into a fucking pile of garbage and oh my we God. were we she did a full she did a head, head over here head, over, head heel. over heels and then got up and was like uh, she came over soaking wet and she was like I'm pretty embarrassed right now and we were like yeah yeah well, you should I said you shouldn't be you shouldn't be but it is crazy. You just fell in hot garbage. This just, just went from a pig roast to a U roast. To a U roast, exactly. <laughs> I mean, literally, you fell into a pile of hot garbage. You know what people say? Ari laughs hurtfully. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was. Can we see it again? Yeah, just go to the point where she flips over. I mean, if you see her and you recognize her from the video, just, you know, g give, her, give her a good tip. And not only the Yelp uh, five sauce for Joey Roses, but go. Go. It's, it's truly, truly great.
It is fun. I love sitting in the back room too, like that kind of picture of his family, 70s, 80s vibe. That, that's my fa- cool. one of my favorite parts of any bar. The bar is really cool. It's 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 like just a cool space. It's like the, the vibe is cool and the sandwiches are f- I'm so good. The only way it could be better if it was on Staten Island. That's right. It's the only way. You, you're like Mr. Staten Island. I, 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 I'm even finding more places out about Staten Island. It's getting crazy. Um, so, look at her. I mean, could you imagine in front of seven new, in front of like look guys at lady, who rose look professionally. Look at the lady because she had dog. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh shit. Yeah. Look at the dog even. It's like, yeah, what the, dog? <laughs> the dog is like, how did she not see that? Yeah, yeah. The dog's like, oh shit, is that Ari Shafir? <laughs> <laughs> she fell in front of Big J. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was one of that was a moment that I remember almost instantly being like, I wish Sal was there to see oh, that. Oh man. Because it was one of those things that we do. I mean, we talked we've talked about it every <laughs> we started a group text. We, yeah. we, we, we're well, constantly talking about in it. In finance to bring up one good point, Joe invited everyone to his birthday, but didn't charge for sandwiches. Yes, yeah, Ian Finance is a smart guy. Yeah, let's let's hear that. <laughs> On the rat-filled streets of New York City. They're, they're charging us for sandwiches. <laughs> oh, yeah. You mean the way a business works? It's your you birthday. invited us to your birthday party! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they that was such a genuine clap back. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. to me, it's like I understand the business rush, but it's like you said this was your birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll pay, but. Uh, uh, that's something I didn't mention about the Sweet 16. What? Uh, the guests will have to pay for things. Pay for everything. Drinks and stuff. Well, yes, unless unless we can get um, what we should do. Hopefully by then, we should be able to have the peanut butter sponsored by Saratoga. We shout should out be, Saratoga shout peanut Shout out Saratoga butter. peanut butter. Have the Saratoga, New flavors on the way. New flavors on the way. Um, we should be able to be also be sponsored by, um, well, we have videographer. We got that. Yeah. Um, what else will we have? Who else do we have connects with? I know somebody who does balloon animals. Oh, it's the Sweet 16, though. Balloon animals. Still. Well, you know what? We'll get the catering. Who doesn't love you a know balloon? Animal? We'll provide the catering. Easy. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. Not Joey Rose's. It depends what Joey Rose's type of prices <laughs> Joey Rose's wants to bring. If Joe. No, Joey. Yeah, fine. Joey Rose is. You don't want Joey Rose's to bring a full pig to my house? We got to get Joey Rose's to get involved with HelloFresh. And st- HelloFresh starts sending out Joey Rose's sandwiches. Wow. That'd be sick. What you said, you, you have the ingredients. Yeah. You have you the put ingredients. the Brussels in there, the you hot honey. It. Yeah. And the super sot. Yeah. And, and then you, put, you make it at your home. Dude, Joey Rose's should have like a Joey Rose's Lunchable kit. Ooh. That'd be sick, <laughs> you know? Like, a, like their version of one? That's fun. Yeah. Like a, yeah. I think he should be working the, the Fairy Hawks games. <laughs> he should be the mascot. Oh no, he should he should be a vendor at the well. Yeah, that city field. He should have. He should have. Um, he should have a stand. I, he should have a, a stand. I got a gripe. Is it gripe time? What's hold on? Every time it's gripe time. Gripe time. It's gripe o'clock. I got a gripe. It's gripe thirty with Lewis County, New York. Court of the gripe. I got a gripe. Okay, Lewis County. Never heard of it. Got a county with Lewis with, with Lewis County, New York. Lewis Gomez County, New York. I got Louis J. Gomez County, New York. Louis J. Gomez County, New York. I got a gripe with them. I got pulled over. Okay, it's it's about it's it's not far whoop, from the Canadian whoop. border. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the beast. Po- beast. Is there a third one? Whoop whoop. Goes back. Go back. Sound of the police. Officer, officer, officer. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's KRS one. It's KRS one yeah. from the Bronx. Well, it might be BDP actually. So Lewis County, not far from the Canadian border. I get pulled over. I'm going 81 and a 65. Not to be, not to be confused with GDP. Go ahead. Not to be confused with GDP. 81 going, and a 65. And listen. The, the so G- is everybody else. Let's be honest. I'm going to tell you something right now, though, because it's still out. It's still out in the, in the world. I haven't pleaded yet. So I was going to 81 and a 65. Allegedly. Allegedly. So I said, the officer says, I would have... I would have let you slide on this, but I can't look past eighty-one and a sixty-five. Let's 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 role play. Let's okay, role play. Go ahead. I'm dr- I'm driver. I'm the cop. You're, you're pulled over. I'm pulled over. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> I noticed that you were doing eighty-one and a sixty-five. Yeah. Would you like to explain yourself? Um. Uh, good morning, officer. Mm. I um. It's 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 one o'clock. Good afternoon. And he actually did say he. I swear to God, because I I had my I was fumbling my things. He goes, "Are is, are you on a substance?" And I was like, no, I'm just nervous. Right. So, so okay. So we'll okay. go back in. I, um, uh, sir, 
Are you? Is something wrong? Are you on a substance of some, 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 some sort? No, no, I, I, I'm just a little nervous because I don't know why I've been pulled over. Oh, you don't know why you've been pulled over? Do you want to take a guess? I mean, I think maybe I was going a little bit faster. A than little the bit speed. faster than the speed limit. You were going 16 miles an hour faster. In relation to 65 miles an hour as the speed limit, you were going about 25% too fast. I totally understand. I um, majored in math. There's no one else on the road. Um, I apologize for going. A Was there an emergency? He, d- he, you know, I do have to get back home to Staten Island. Um, I haven't been with my uh, kids uh, for a few days, and um, I do. I just would like to get Say home. Say no more. Get out of here. Get out of here. I have a soft spot for family and children. <laughs> you would just let me go. Oh, that was oh, that was my version though. That was my. I, that, that's who I was becoming in my head. The well, guy me, that a, a hard nosed cop, but that has soft, soft spots. Let, let me let me tell you what the officer said okay. to me when I said that. I because I really did say that. I said I'm, yes, I do have. It. I just want to get home to my kids. Let me ask you a question. What's this on your front seat? That's um. <laughs> smells like shit. <laughs> that's what it is. Is it mushroom? No, nope, it's shit. Take it does smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> you just ate shit. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh, that'd be awesome. Why are you if- fumbling? Did you eat shit? Yeah. <laughs> I might have eaten shit. <laughs> so he, says, he-, he says to me, he says to me, I have, I have children too, and I'm not driving 81 miles an hour in a 65 wow. because I want to get to see them in one piece. Whoa. And I, Dude, so, that's checking, mate. I know. So I said, I said, fair enough. So you should have said, I can't see one of my daughters in one piece. She had, she's missing a leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we try to pull at his strength. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said, I, officer, I can't see my daughter in one piece anymore since she was broken emotionally. Right. Yes. She shattered. She shattered. So I said. Million little pieces. Shout out, Oprah. Shout out, Oprah. Yeah. Um, so shout out, Ashley Simpson. All the pieces, pieces, of pieces of, of me. me. Or is that Avril Lavigne? Don't know. Don't know. Um, so, so. <laughs> Shout out Ashley Simpson. Shout out Ashford and Simpson. Shout solid. Out. Solid as a rock. D- yeah. You know that song? No. What do you mean? It's the most famous song of the 80s. So- we build it up and now it's solid. Solid as a rock. That's why they're changing. The oh. thrill is real. Oh. Hot, 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 oh. hot. Okay. Let's solid see. as a rock. Yeah. Let's see one second if I've ever heard this song or not. It's Feeling like no, unless hold on. Do you know this song, Pimp? Yeah, yeah of course. You know it? Yeah, it was in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was a before you were. Solid Ashford and Simpson. Yeah. Okay. We can't play this part. Obviously. Football fans, the first Sunday of the NFL season is here. Uh, actually, I have my fantasy football draft on Labor Day. And DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a can't-miss offer to celebrate the return of the NFL season. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. And as an added bonus for week one, everyone can experience the thrill of DraftKings early win promotion. It's simple. Bet on an NFL team to win, and if your team leads by 10 at any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team loses. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and use the promo code Hey babe, to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet this Sunday. That's code Hey babe, only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum, Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Ship station, baby. You know it. We love it here. We've been talking about it for a long, long time. If you are getting ready for a busy shipping season, then you need to get ship station before you get overwhelmed. What do you have? You have an online store, you have an Etsy shop, you have some merch store, do you have anything that you use to ship stuff? Ship station is the best thing. It's a you can ship in the best, most efficient way at the best price across all the companies. It lets you know what the best way to do it is and you do it immediately from home. From home. Whether you're a big company, a little company, or an individual, ShipStation works for everybody. And they integrate every platform yeah. right into ShipStation. So if you're selling on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, you can manage all the shipping across all of those in their one dashboard. Let me just tell you a little stat here. 98 percent of companies that use ship stage for one year become customers for life what does that tell you that it tells you that if you're not 
if you're not using ShipStation, you'll die. That's right. Yeah. Um, and it is, basically, you're getting the same rates as all the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, join over 130,000 companies that are using uh, to grow their e-commerce business. Uh yeah, go to ShipStation.com right now. Sign up with the promo code Hey Babe for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in code Hey, hey Babe. babe. Solid as a rock. No. I never. I swear to Christ. Wow. I wow. swear on my. You. I believe I've it. Never yeah. once in my life heard that song. Wow. How is that possible, though? It was like the Grammy won the Grammy. Like it was like a big song. You've only heard it from Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, it would play in the car when you drive around. Yeah. And did you keep it on? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, it's a banger. Yeah. I, no, I I hearted it on Spotify. It saved I my playlist. The prostitute to that song, baby. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you. Let's go back to Lewis County. Yeah. He says to me. You know, you're getting a ticket. I won't give you the points, though. And I, you know, I said, thank God. I How does he, I, I he can't have the points. decide that? He doesn't decide that. But I said, you know, I did my little joke that I, I said on Hey Babe. I said, thanks for not giving me the points. I can't have the points. Oh, on, you said that. I said, I'm on. He, no, no. He said to me, I'm going to give you a ticket. I'm not going to put it as a cell phone ticket. I'm going to put it as a moving violation oh, for that's you. that's actually he, nice. he was nice to me because he was like, you know, I, I feel bad. That's the big thing. He said he was actually nice. He was like, I'll be nice to you. He goes, I'm going to give you a cell, uh, a cell phone uh, a moving violation or a lane changing violation, not a cell phone ticket. <laughs> so this way, you're going to have to pay the fine, but you're not going to get the points. And then I said- Which is nice. Also, probably illegal. Probably illegal. And I said to him, I said, thanks for not giving me the points. I'm on Weight Watchers. I can't have them. You, you didn't. That's what I said. And uh, he yeah. goes- just get home safely. <laughs> <laughs> he just. Wait, did you tell me that? that I, I think familiar. we said it on Hey that Babe. Sounds familiar. I think I don't know about the. Did I tell them the? Is it? It's not the same story though. No. So I said I. And he didn't laugh. He didn't laugh. He bombed. It bombed. So then I get home. Right. Get a ticket in the mail a week later. I I plead no contest or whatever. So they're like, oh, they send me a letter back. They say if you want to plead no contest, you have to come up here and, and appear. So I'm thinking, oh, I'll get the lawyer. I'll do what you do. And I say, whatever, fuck it. So I'll just say, you know what? Guilty. I'll just do guilty. Get rid of it. They send me back the guilty with a $173 fine. No option to pay via credit card. It has to be a, not even a personal check. Uh, check or money order. No, no, not a personal check. A money order. It has to be a certified <laughs> check no. or a fucking money order. Oh, come on. It's ridiculous. So now you have, you literally have a chore to do. I have a chore you to do You can't just pay the penalty. You have to go get it a certified would, check. My question to, to the room is, to the audience is, do they do that on purpose to get more money knowing that they're trying to make it harder for you so you keep getting penalties? So wait, why would you get, why would you, why would it be more money? Because because now I you know I may forget to do it if if it was if it was via credit card or personal Boom. it'd be done in Boom a second bap. done. Well, parking tickets here you could pay. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Actually, no, all tickets here you could pay. I'm gonna literally write back to Lewis County. I'm gonna write on the letter back uh, with a personal check for 173 dollars, and on the front of that envelope, yeah. on the front of that thing, I'm gonna have a little note and say, "There's if you don't if you don't accept this payment, guess where you can take it up with." Bloom, Bloom Cafe. Cafe. Take it up with them. I'm going to write, take it up with Bloom Cafe. Yeah. And take the check. I'm not dealing with this. I wonder, by the way, I wonder if Bloom Cafe, the phone's ringing off the hook with complaints. I was told. Just actually complaints the, from all over the world. I was actually told by the owners of Bloom Cafe if we could cool it with saying, take it up with Bloom Cafe. Because <laughs> daily someone opens the door, yells, take it up with Bloom Cafe, and then gets on the bus. <laughs> which, which is right outside. Which is right outside I, their cell. I, in my head, I would love it if, if Bloom Cafe, like the phone was ringing and people were just logging complaints with them. <laughs> Like uh, just just from anything, yeah. Like, all, you know, all over their Yelp, uh, yeah. They, you know, I, I, they had they had a problem with the vacuum cleaner or on Amazon. They're taking up with Blue yeah. Cafe. <laughs> it's like the Yelp was like, "Love the muffins here." By the way, I got a red light ticket in Midtown, <laughs> yeah. and I don't understand what's going yeah. on. Lodge your comp go on to Bloom Cafe's Yelp and take anything up with <laughs> Bloom Cafe's Yelp. Whatever you, it you is in the world, it. you get you got to give them five stars. Yes, you got to write something complimentary about them, but then log. <laughs> <laughs> Any complaint you have in the world in the same Yelp review. So you got to go. You say, go to this place. It's awesome. Five stars. I love the coffee. Also, though, uh, you know, I, 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 I yeah. what? 
Five stars. Five stars on the on the vegan muffins. They're amazing. Love the coffee. The service was great. Also, I stayed at a Holiday Inn yeah. and the air broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The air conditioning broke. Yeah, you know, dot, 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 dot. Why does, why does Ukraine yet <laughs> need yet another money package from the U.S.? Is this what I voted for? And then just keep going. Um, we'll wait, Bloom Cafe. We'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. Um, dude, Wait. speaking of, speaking of, of, of hottie boom bodies, yeah. you were on the hot ones. Yes. I did the hot How ones. How? Truth or dab. We want to, I want to know, cause we can see you and, 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 and Murr and Q on the hot ones. We can see that. Just go to Impractical <laughs> Jokers, play truth or dab on hot ones. We can see that. And I, and I want to watch it, but I want to know what was the aftermath for you? What was, what was the asshole like the next day after, so, after a day like that? Okay. So. Take us I, behind the scenes. Yes, I will. So I, 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 I always <laughs> wanted to do hot ones. Okay. Because Cause you're a hottie. Because Sean, the, the host, Evans, is so amazing at what he does. He's almost like a Nardwar. You know what Nardwar is? Mm-hmm. No, what's a Nardwar? Oh. Nardwar is a Canadian, uh, I don't know, music aficionado slash interview, like a j- journalist interviewer. It's like a Weird Al Yankovic version of Je- uh, Jeffrey Gurian. Okay. Okay. And he has like unbelievable research team and encyclopedic knowledge of the people that he he springs the interviews on them. A lot of times it's mostly musicians and they'll be coming out of a door in a back alley and he'll be like, hey, I'm Nardwar and I want to interview. I, or maybe they might set it up too, but a lot of times he's like, they're not prepared for it. And then he asks them questions that blows their balls off because he knows, he finds stuff out that no one knows. Like, do you have an example of, of a question he asked someone or it's nothing? Like, he'll, he'll just be like, you know, when you were like five and you had a record that you lost and it was your favorite record, like, here's the record. And like, I, why is this record special to you? And like, rappers are like crying. Oh, yeah. Really? I swear yeah. to God. That's pretty dope. I, I'll look yeah. him up. It's cool. Yeah. And so, but anyway, Sean's not like that, but he's such a good interview. If you watch Hot Ones. Yeah. He like. Yo, yeah, yeah. It's one you know, of the most he just shows. makes the interview so interesting. Um, he just is a really good conversationalist. Right. And he's known for that. And so I was like, I would love to have a conversation with him. Ours was a, more on the jokey side because this is more of a little game. It's like yeah. truth or dare. And if you can't answer the question, you have to eat the wing. So it's not a straight interview. Um, this this version, but anyway, always wanted to do it. But you know, I have a weak constitution. Yes, and I I can't handle any Scoville unit, no, let alone two. Right. Like you know, like the, the, the things have a one million Scoville units. It's made from ghost pepper and pepper X and all that shit. Like almost like you can't even serve it in a restaurant. Like it's, it's too spicy. No, I asked him well, what is the business model behind these sauces because there's no <laughs> how do they sustain a business because they <laughs> yeah. they they're, they're, they're not made fit for human consumption. I told him that. Yeah, I'm on this thing, and he said yes. People just buy them to like do this and be like. I, I, it, they buy them to hurt themselves. Yes. They buy them to, to maybe get it's a chance to go to the ER. Sadistic, yeah. yeah. Except for the people that really, it, they like it, but I, I think that's like one percenters. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Like, that's what I, so I had that on the, on the pod and I knew it was going to be bad. I texted a bunch of people who were on it already, friends to ask them like what to do and what not to do. And I got some advice. Uh, what was some of the advice? Okay. So they give you water and milk. Okay. The milk helps more. The water is less, but the goal is to not take a drink of anything and get through them. On the regular show, there's nine wings or 10 and it starts. Are you flexing your chest, Pex? Excuse me? <laughs> are you flexing your Pex? I just wanted to, I just wanted to let the audience know what's up. I, Cause I, I think I've noticed that a, like a handful of times thus far, I noticed your, your gold pops. Sometimes when, you know, I'm, I'm just actively listening, I, I think about the audience at home and I want to just let them know, don't fuck with yeah, me. Yeah, that's like, yeah. that's like Hulkamania going wild right there. Just want to let them know. Wow, pop it right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, babe. What? It's, actually, uh, it's actually fun and unsettling at the same time. There you go. I think maybe because the chains are something. It, the chains are it, giving it a little looks more like it, it almost looks like they have their own mind, the, your boobs. Yeah. Your t- t- can, you not fl- can you flex? You can no, flex a pack. Really. Not really. No, I can't. Well, it might be the way I'm sitting. I don't know how to do it. Lean that. forward and I bet you could do it. I, no, I don't. Have you practiced this? I just always have been able to do it, even when I'm not in even good shape. If you do chest workouts, it's probably there. More, I do push-ups is what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I've been enjoying it. Okay. Um, (laughs) So what what was I saying? So so, so in in the interview, it goes gradually hotter, but on this one, they start with the hottest. There's only three hot, 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 hot ones. Okay. So there's no buildup. They just go right, you're at level 10. So uh, a few people, one person told me, they asked me what kind of milk I want. I said, 
they gave me the list. I said, I'll take almond. That's what I drink normally. Yeah, why not? Little did I know. You need a high fat almond is not the one that helps once it's the whole milk. Mid interview, I stop down. I say, bring me a whole milk right now. Yeah, I need a whole milk. Um, whole milk. But I was told you're going to want to go to the milk a lot. Don't go to it that much because the last thing you want is the most hottest wings on the planet and then a, just a belly full of those with whole milk. So they said use it to help, but don't keep downing it. Um, Wait, did you eat leading up to this? Did you eat? I don't think I ate. No. Um, I was nervous. And so what I did was, and I know this is like, people aren't even supposed to drink the milk, but I, you see it on the table. I came with my Lanta. So <laughs> I showed up with a Mylanta. I don't think anyone's ever done that. And I just said, look, I'm already trying to get to, I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. I'm not a tough guy. <laughs> so I'm afraid already right now. And I already like, like sometimes Tabasco is hot for me. Right, right, right. So I, I drank the, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to do it. I took the first bite. I took the first bite within one minute. I ripped open the Atlanta, uh, my Lanta, and I was guzzling. Because you couldn't. The my Lanta. Because I wanted to coat my stomach because I was worried about my ass later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but luckily- There's probably no preventing your ass from have, being well, a disaster later. I prevented it. Wow. I, I think the my Lanta- You prevented a burning hot asshole. Yeah. Interesting. But I will tell you, though, it was the most- I, I ended up drinking- as well. Add that, <laughs> add that to the clip. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> you prevented it from hell, yeah, so I cut to, I want to have sex with you yeah. <laughs> Make a conversation that didn't happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, so I, I ended up drinking the Atlanta, all the milk and all the water, and a second glass of milk. Dude, what? it doesn't go away. The only time there's any relief is the second the milk hits your mouth and if you hold the milk in your mouth for even like 10 seconds it doesn't work anymore and the pain is so much that you can't speak it's it's it, it takes over your whole body wow i had to literally like i couldn't stand still you look out of out of q and Murr, you look like you're in the most pain i mean q <laughs> looked like he was in pain right there but you look like it. oh and, and the host is eating as well he, at the end Sean he, does he, it. he did one in solidarity at that's the end. pretty cool yeah but that guy at this point though his stomach is like a steel cage yeah, he doesn't give a shit no he, he, uh, I, are you stoned at all no, I wasn't stoned. No, that might have no. helped, right? No, possibly. Dude, I don't or, know, dude. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it <laughs> look, look, I couldn't even stand still. No, dude, you're in legitimate. Like, great sneakers. Thanks, man. Um, that um, you know, you're like almost uh, crying. Tear, tear, no, tears are coming down my face. Do you regret? Like, would you do it again, or is one one and done? I I would do it if I was if I did got the in, if I did the full interview because it builds up. And it doesn't get that hot until like the last three. So you're saying your section, truth or dab, is you just that's the point of it. It is goes zero to sixty. This one, got it. So what is the, what are the moments after this? What do you do? Like when this ends? Yeah, right like now. like because you. So it ended, and then we were still really burning, and then they offered us bowls of ice cream, <gasps> and I, I I ate a bowl of I, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla? That helped the most. The bowl of ice cream, and I had to go to a dinner after this and meet people. What? Yes, and so I'm you're a, sweating. I was, dude. I was, and my stomach, and I, but then by the time I ate the ice cream, by the time like I was good, like a half hour later. And then what'd you get at dinner? I ate a wagyu steak. It didn't it f your whole mouth. The I thought it was going to, but you know luckily what the it nightmare didn't. you. Ha you did I didn't do the bomb though. The bomb is like the worst one. Oh, okay. This this show is such a huge show, and and you know, is like doing like a late night show. I mean, it's huge numbers. Imagine having to do this show because you have to promote something really big, but showing up to the set and you have a canker sore. Oh my that God. Is, would you rather do hot ones with a canker sore? Would you rather do hot ones with a canker sore or um, be abducted by ISIS for a week? Oh, ISIS, easy. ISIS for a week. Yeah, for easy, real. Easy. Interesting. What are they going to do to me? Put hot sauce on my canker no, sauce? No, I'm already ISIS, getting it done. ISIS for a week, and they may do nothing to you. They may just be, in, you're getting out in a week, and you yeah, will survive. It may just be fear based, but nothing ever happens. Nothing ever happens, but this yeah. is canker sore 20 minutes. But, by the way, when you put the, so the swing in your mouth, your whole mouth feels like a canker sore. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's, dude, it's it's rough, dude. It was that, rough. It, it it's um, oh, and by, I told you, I told you this, but <laughs> oh, look at they, 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 <laughs> they gave me those sauces. I have them. Oh. I had them. We could do them. Next episode, maybe. We could do them. We could do them. Patreon. We could do them. It's, it, we, we have milk and ice cream and stuff. We'll be able to handle it. Now, but, I it, but bro, it is, it is a journey. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. You want to try it? I, I'll do it. For the next episode, we'll do it. I'll are do you, it. Why are you saving your mouth for today? What are you doing? Because I, I'm actually having a dinner <laughs> with friends tonight um, who I haven't seen some of these guys since I, I went to a dinner right old. after this. You did. Now, we could wait till tomorrow. Because I'm not prepared mentally. But I can, I, can I pitch something right yeah, please, now? Please. Just because I want to do this? 
Is that where you can get mushrooms tonight to be ready for tomorrow? Will we do mushrooms and eat the hot sauce? Oh my God. I Is there a way to do that? I'll tell you why there's a way. I have mushrooms. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is that what we're doing tomorrow? That's what we're doing. That's what the next episode I'll, will be. I'll have to clear that with a few people. Clear it. Yeah. I'm not talking about getting <laughs> smacked. Why don't we microdose mushrooms? Why don't you microdose? Because I tried to microdose one time with these little chocolates and nothing happened. Do you have the act? No, I mean, what I, have, I was giving I have, you- I have, I have, I think I have, I think. Like a dried mushroom. I think mushroom. I have chocolates and I think I have, I know I have the dried mushrooms. So why don't- I don't know what kind of a dose I have. We have to ask Ari. We also don't have to jump to mushrooms because you recently smoked weed for the first time. What do you mean? Wait, when did you? He smoked weed for the first time. Why oh, you, yeah, that's why right. Where did I do that? Why I'm, do you the wait Hamptons. exclusively? Oh, in the Hamptons. Why do you exclusively wait until I leave to do all your drugs? <laughs> Every time I see you, you're like, guess what? Try a new drug for the first time. Yeah. I'm like, guess what? I did fentanyl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always wanted to do it. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, or, I, or like the most we'll do is maybe have a glass of white wine. Yeah. Uh, but then you'll tell me, oh, dude, I had 10... 10 box sodas last <laughs> night. I got, I was off my, I'm like, why am I not around for these? I, you know, I don't, I, I don't have an answer for that. Yeah. I don't know why it just, it just comes over me. Like yesterday, I was not prepared to do mushrooms. I woke up that day thinking, there's no way I'll do mushrooms today. Then our guest, Adam Gilbert, go follow, follow Adam Gilbert High um, on, uh, on Instagram. Great guy. Also, AK Little Stinker. Watch the Chrissy Chaos podcast. Find out why. Um, he pulled mushrooms, a bag of shrooms, out of his back pocket in a Ziploc bag. And he said, do you want to do mushrooms? And I said, I'm not prepared to do it. Do you think it'll make me too high? And he goes, there's only one way to find out. And you did it. And I did it. Well, there was, wow. there was one lead up to that. Chris goes, I think you're my gateway into psychedelics. And then he immediately took out mushrooms. No. Yeah. It was like on command. It was on command. Oh, I know. A buddy of mine, I won't, I won't name his name, but um, he got invited. You ready for this? Let me not name any names. Okay. Can I guess? Or we're saying we're not, we don't want this name out. Um, I can tell you off air. Okay. But, well, I think the person, okay, so the person throws this through this gathering, got this gathering together. Method man. No. Okay. Mm. So the person got this gathering together and he does this once in a while. And the person is in the business and he's developing an animated cartoon. Okay. With the Grateful Dead. Okay. Okay, the band, who is okay. known for psychedelics. 100%. And so what he did was he rented a mansion in L.A., and he invited some friends and the Grateful Dead over, and then they all did acid, and they wrote for the cartoon. They, they, uh -huh. they, they generated ideas for the cartoon. And that guy's my friend, but another one of my friends flew out there and, and joined them and did acid for the first time and with the Grateful Dead and helped them and helped generate some ideas. Is, 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 and is Isn't this cartoon wild? like it possibly can be seen? It's going it's gonna to make- Well, it's, it's in development. It's in development. Yeah. Wow. Is that yeah. not the wildest thing? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, there's something, I always thought acid was acid, but I think it's not acid. It's just called acid, which I think is a bad PR move for the acid people. I think it's LSD, isn't it? I don't know, but acid sounds like you're going to fry yourself. And so I've never I even- I don't want to do it. It's been, LSD. Yeah. LSD, by the way, you know, there's no known quantity of, of uh, LSD that you can overdose on. There's, you can take extreme levels of LSD. You'll never overdose. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's well, like one of those. I heard stories from this party and the one person was doing it a lot and then like ended up like fully naked and screaming at like the next day, no one slept or whatever. And then like some of the guys like the Grateful Dead that like have been living this life forever, like, oh no, that just happens all the time. No worries at all. <laughs> no worries. Because like, people were like, what, what, <laughs> people were freaking out because other people were tripping and then this person's screaming. It's like people, and then they're just like, and, and I'm told they were like, oh no, no, that's just, that's going to happen. Just freaking out. Yeah. But he said, they said it was the best time. The best time. Would you do, would you, so, so what, what drug are you willing to push it to the limit with? What drug are you willing that you would say, like, obviously, like, you probably never do cocaine. I would never do cocaine. No disrespect people do it. I never do fentanyl willingly. But, like... Wait, no one does fentanyl. Isn't fentanyl just a... No, people get microdose fentanyl. That's why... No. Don't they, Pimpy? Don't people microdose fentanyl? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think you oh, I thought fentanyl anything. was just, like, not a drug you did. It was no, like... No, no. I mean, Michael Jackson did it, allegedly. That's what he used to do. That's how he died. Oh, yeah. But I think the people who die of fentanyl overdoses, it's because they snorted bad coke that was filled in with fentanyl. Yeah. I'm not what, even... I'm not going anywhere near I'm that. Going to, but what drug would you... Right now, you'd be like, I'm not... I'm 50-50 on. 
All natural. I'll do weed and mushrooms. Weed and mushrooms is all you'll consider. I, Ayahuasca? All natural. Ayahuasca is all I natural. I tell you what, I wouldn't rule it out. I would want to research it more and understand what the experience is like and then see if it's for me or not. Because I've heard things where it like can heal traumatic stress, I, uh, post-traumatic stress. I heard things where it could open some things in your mind and get you some clarity. But then I also don't want to be like, you know, in a kelp underwear with mud all over me in a hut, you I, know, worrying about my life in the middle of the jungle. God, that's such a good photo. <laughs> <laughs> that's the podcast we need to do. I have, I'm going to, I have a connection. Yeah. Pretty high up connection. Real money. Not Elon Musk money, but 0.3 money. Okay. They got 0.3 money. Uh, they got 0.3 money. I maybe think I know who you mean. Okay. I don't know. Connect, 0.3 okay. money. That has will be willing to, in their backyard, in the tri-state area, Host. fly out real shamans from Peru that people have to go to. They bring Peru here. Peruvian shamans. Peruvian shamans. Okay. They bring Peru they here. They bring the shamans to you. To you. Yeah. They bring, they bring Peru to Greenwich, Connecticut. For you. For you. Peruvian. Peru. Yes. Peru. -hoo. Shout they, out Peruvian. Shout out Peru. Peru. They, why the country of Peru hasn't made a chocolate drink called Peru who is beyond me. Um, <laughs> um, 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 so, so they have been willing for a small cost. They, they, they have the money. They're point three to fly shamans here for a select group of people. Your name came up to do ayahuasca in the, as someone who they'd invite into the gates of their home to do ayahuasca in their backyard, under the guidance of Peruvian shamans, we can drive there and drive home the same day. I need a yes or no answer right now. I'm going to give you five seconds when I start. I'm going to give you five seconds to think about it. I need a yes or no answer into that camera. No questions. Oh. No questions. Go. Yes. This has been Hey Babe. <laughs>